Online Media Solutions are offering free web design. Email hello at omslive.co.uk or call 0161 818 8423 for more details. Well, this is the start of the parade. It's just next to the town hall, which is being renovated at the moment, which is uh, behind those trees over there. And this is the culmination of a great season. I hope you've enjoyed the match day vlogs that I've done. I've certainly enjoyed producing them. And all being well, I'll be doing them again next season. And also, of course, we do a podcast, the Forever Blue podcast. And if you've got access to SoundCloud, iTunes, or one of the other platforms that you can get podcasts on, I recommend that you subscribe. It's free. And then we'll carry on during the summer talking about this fantastic club and the legacy that's been left by Vincent Company, which I'm sure is bound to come up tonight as well. So, first of all, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of the people that you may have seen in vlogs, you may have heard in the podcast, but here are two of them, Adam and Harlan, talking about tonight's event here in central Manchester. Mate, it's been absolutely unbelievable. unbelievable. Adam, you've been first. It's been mad, hasn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Been, you know, three trophies. When we started the season, I thought, I'd just be happy to retain the Premier League. We've done that, and two more. I just can't believe it that we're going to see three three trophies coming in a minute. You know, you usually see one Premier League title, you think, yeah. wow. Yeah. We're, we're going to look look at the bus. There's going to be three trophies on that four. bus. Yeah. Four. four trophies four. on that bus, because I, yeah, I do count that. Yeah, I, no, I, I count, count it. That. In fact, there'll be six. Yeah, because the, two women's I like the fact we've got the women on there as well. What a season for the city in general, women and men, it's been unbelievable. And next year, you know, we might get a European Cup in a way. Yeah, definitely. There's, yeah. A, there's a reason, Ian, why I think that the, 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 the Community Shield, Charity Shield's an important trophy. And I think it's because you, you can't play in that in that match, you can't win that unless you've won one of the other two competitions or one of the other three competitions. Yeah. So the fact that I see it as the 39th game of the season rather than the first of a new season is, is massively important to me. So I, I do deem it a trophy and I do think that the fact that we've won all three this season and the second place team in the Premier League uh, as to go in and play in, in the Community yeah. Shield game next season proves that we have absolutely dominated again this season on all fronts in England. And I think to win all three English domestic trophies shows that last season with the Champions of England we got 100 points, 106 goals and the fact that we've absolutely demolished all three trophies in England this season proves why we are the best team that's ever graced the Premier League in my opinion and, and probably one of the best in England. On the podcast, by the way. <laughs> this is it, after telling you on the podcast you can go like that, <laughs> but you can't do that on video. <laughs> But last year we were stood here, we were all stood here thinking, it doesn't get better than this, it doesn't get better than this. It's got better, this season it's got better than can it was it last year. Better? It can, because I think we can win the treble that United fans are talking about, you know, the FA Cup, the Premier League and the Champions League all in one, because that would shut them up then. If we'd have finally done that, but I'm happy with this one, flipping yeah, definitely. I'm not going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. harking like, oh, we didn't win the Champions League, I don't care, I'm here today, I'm having a few beers, everyone's buzzing, the queues are massive, there's going to be 100,000 people here, can't wait, it's going to be a top Listen, goal, no matter what happens here, no matter what happens with regards to your or anything like that to be experiencing days like this for being a nine-year-old kid never thinking I'd ever dream of coming into Manchester wearing and seeing this shirt, just wearing this over. shirt the, the <laughs> last shirt before Shape Man yeah. so come in for anyone that is critical of that uh, yeah. yeah 2007 eight season enjoy yeah. the day lad we Probably. were him and we were shit champion hey champion hey ole 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 oh it's amazing again obviously the weather's been kind uh, last year was fantastic I'm sure tonight it's going to be even better and obviously with the the only thing with Vinny leaving, he's going to make it maybe a bit emotional for, for one or two, but absolutely incredible turnout. It's going to be a, an amazing evening again. I think Colin Bell, definitely, you, you know, you, what he did for the club was absolutely amazing. When you look at um, Vinny, with, with all the trophies he's won, uh, he's, he's just had an absolutely incredible career here. And when you think about the, just the last three games of, the, of his career here too, and, and he knew it was happening and we didn't, to sort of score the goal that more or less secured the the, uh, the Premier the Premier League, and then to go and captain the team at Brighton and secure that, and then to lift the FA Cup, it is it's absolutely incredible. So, I, but I think that said, I'm sure when Sergio leaves, I'm sure when David leaves, and one or two others as well, we'll, we'll be having the same conversation. I think these. Uh, there's at least half a dozen in this group, and including Yaya as well, that are definitely going to be top ten forever, probably. You feel as if the dogs played an important part in this all? Uh, they started this immunity dog at MCFC just before the Arsenal game, and we've won 14 games on the trot since, so I don't think it's down to Pep and the players, I think it's down to uh, Oscar Bellatelli. That's what he's called. Yep. How long have you been watching City? 1964 in my first game and I've went 32 years without missing home game. 
1983 to 2015 without missing a match. What does today mean for you then? Well, I'm just getting used to it now, Ian. I think it's, uh, you know, it's just expect them to win it. I expect them to win it again next year. I think we're that good. Why are you here today? All them trophies. What, what have you got on then? Have you got I've all the... got a city scarf, yeah. matching shoes, and I've got a city flag and pet with a crown on. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Hey, city Premier League champions <laughs> again. Yeah. Oh, you're all your mate City fans now. Yeah. But yeah. except from her. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not, but I had to come along with him. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> She's United. You shouldn't be here then. <laughs> As Kim Bourne used to say, this is what you could have had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I've ever been, I think he's absolutely great. We've had a chance to We've always been on holiday when it's been away before. when it's been the parade for the last four years. We've I been away. Every year when they've won, even when uh, Wigan won, we were crying in the pubs. Yes. And it was a tragedy, but Man City is amazing. It's absolutely brilliant. We've got, we've got the manager who can get us everything now. Let's have a sing And I said we're going to celebrate the Premier League. I will, I will put it wearing from from Bernard. <laughs> Vincent, is, uh, we are going to miss him a lot. Uh, I want to. I'm going to miss him, but I think it's the it's incredible way to say we are going to see us in the future because he's coming back sooner or later. But. Uh, it's the best way to, to say bye with this incredible season all together. It was a, a real captain. We, he helped us a lot and that's why. Now, now he's coming soon and we're going to, to show 
him how how we love him. Kevin, perhaps you could just explain why in their thousands City fans voted for Bernardo Silva for the Etihad Player of the Season Award. Ah, I think it's probably because of the song, no other reason. Bernardo! Bernardo! Silva! Makes them the voicing, Silva! We're not going to Madrid! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next season we'll be back trying to give you more titles. And the uh, champion is champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the Etihad player of the season, Bernardo Silva! Guys, um, uh, first, um, you know, first, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Eleven years at this club, what a journey we've been on, what a journey. And we've come from. Let's be honest, we we were always a great club, whether we had silverware or not, we were always a great club. But now we've got silverware. And I've, I'm, I'm really proud, I'm proud that with this group of player, we've been able to give you something that was long coming, something you deserved for a long time. And I've been a part of something very special, thanks to very special people. And my first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you so much. Let me put it this way. Uh, the moment that ball against Leicester went top bins, <laughs> I, I knew I was done. I couldn't do anything better. <laughs> so, you know, that goal went in and it, it felt right. It felt like this team, this team is ready, ready to achieve so much more. I've done everything I could. I've, I've given everything I had, everything. I've got nothing left. I've given everything. And I'm proud of that. I can't tell you how much I'm proud of that. And you know, how much in this city and that's that's what kept me alive for so many years people actually respect someone going down and getting back up every single time so i've done that i'm done thank you so much And so the Nissan goal of the season for Manchester City, as presented by Fernandinho, goes to Vincent Company. I did a function with him a few weeks ago and I promised I'd get one to him and I managed to do it and he actually wore it on stage so you must I'm so proud. I'm, I am very proud. No, Noel is, excuse my words, Noel is a hero of mine. Uh, worship, worship for a long time. 
that I worship for a long time with a lot of other people. To actually have him wearing some of my work on stage in front of everybody, absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy. I'm very happy. Just the champions, aren't we, mate? You know what I mean? Who Man United? Who what do you think of what Vinny had to say? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Just sign one more year, or I should play one more year, cheeser. Oh, he's a legend, isn't he? He always will be. Tony Wooks, the best captain from when I was growing up. I know all that lot. However, he won't mind passing the mantle on there to Vinny, because Vinny's a legend. Champions! Champions! We know where we are! 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 Champions of England! We know where we are! Cheers, Ian! There's only one! Incredible. They just do everything so amazingly well. It's brilliant. What do you think of Vinny's speech? Oh, I was in buckets, buckets of tears. It's mic drop. The mic drop, yeah. Well, you like the mic drop, did you? Oh, yeah, he's my favourite player. I named my first son after him. Really? Yeah. I was going to get a uh, number four tattoo as well. <laughs> Tonight live up to your expectations. Oh yeah, it was unreal. I go to college in Liverpool as well, so that's a bit heavy, but yeah, I was looking forward to it. It's class. <laughs> Vinny's speech was emotional, just like Vinny is, and it was from the heart, We're just really like well, again though. Vinny is. True blue. I'm never gonna replace him as a captain. Is it ever gonna get better than this? It'll get better, but I don't think we'll find a better captain than Vinny. Other than Kevin De Bruyne maybe. My favourite player of all time was Johan Cruyff. I just think he's brought Johan Cruyff's philosophy to British football and when they said it couldn't be done, he's, he's, he's blown them all out of the water. Manchester City, my dad in heaven will be happy and I'll join him one day and I can't wait to say, have you enjoyed what we've done dad? I hope you've seen every moment and experienced it because this is heaven, this is wondrous heaven. Like, like any city fan that, who's been through what I've been through over the years can only dream about. It's wonderful football, wonderful. And what more can you ask? Same time next year. Yes, cheers, man. Absolutely sensational. You know, formidable. Look at him, look at him. Uh, no, great day. Yeah, I've been up there. I mean, you know a lot of them. Players. I know, I know. Um, but we, I have my time. It's not about me now. It's about them. They're beautiful. Um, I'm so happy for them because I know how hard they work. I know how, how much Pep pushes them. So yeah, it's a credit to them. Are you going to play in Vinny's testimonial? I've been invited. I don't know how long I can play like, but uh, I can give a good 10 minutes. Lovely <laughs> <laughs> to see you. And you too, mate. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, you know, or year 12 months ago and everybody was saying that um, Centurions, 100 points, 100 goals, best season ever, best Premier League team ever, would never be beaten. This has exceeded it this season, you know, to win the domestic treble, quadruple, don't want to get in trouble, see whatever it's called. Um, it's just an unbelievable achievement and this team's just going to get better and better. We saw you down at Brighton cheering over that balcony. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing, you know, they're special fans, they're the best fans, I keep saying it, you know. I've done an interview before and they were asking about the fans and you know 20 years ago and they backed us through thick and thin I mean, we weren't very good as the song goes and that's been polite about it um, so getting success breaking all sorts of records history again this season it's the fans that deserve it so there we have it the curtain comes down on the seats and thanks very much to everybody sponsors and those who watch the vlogs and said such nice things i really appreciate it hopefully i'll be back next campaign again hopefully going on pre-season if you've seen these videos, if you've liked these videos and you'd like to be a sponsor yourself, then get in touch. I'm always looking for new sponsors, particularly for next season. But thanks very much to uh, everybody for watching. Thanks for everybody for contributing, for all the lovely comments that you make. See you again next season, I hope. Isn't it great to be a blue? In fact, I'd say it's formidable. Remember, online media solutions are offering free web design. Just email hello at omslive.co.uk or call the number 0161 818 8423 for more details.